Hi, my name is Jacob Robinson. I'm a sophomore at Clemson University, and I did the new student dialogue on the power of microaggressions. Um, the first question, do I feel my group achieved true dialogue? I think we did after a little while. Um, first 30 minutes, everybody was just kind of silent and it was really awkward. But it, I think we definitely achieved true dialogue. We had a lot of diversity in the class. There were a lot of people of different race, religion, everything. So it was a good discussion. Um, next question is the dynamics of my group. Yeah, there were a bunch of there were definitely active voices in my dialogue. The leader mostly kept most of the conversation going, but there were like three or four people in the class that um, talked a lot as well. The majority of the people were more reserved, like me, like. A bunch of people just didn't really have any opinions and just kind of sat there and made it a lot more boring, I think. Um, in my group, I was definitely one of the more reserved people because I was just kind of not happy to be there. Um, why do I think dialogue is a component of CU-1000? I guess it was a good way to meet people and understand other people's beliefs and stuff. Um, it was good to just kind of see what everybody else thought about stuff. Hmm. Please share any additional thoughts or observations as you see fit. Well, I've got three more minutes to cover, so I thought it was a good experience. Um, a lot of it kind of made me angry just because we were there for two hours and everybody was trying to tell me what to believe and stuff. It was kind of annoying. Uh, but I mean, I came out there understanding other people better, which was good, I guess. Um, hmm, let's see. We split up in, like, small, well, like, partners, and then, like, shared what, like, shared with our partner what we have the most trouble with, with microaggressions. And I got paired up with another guy that's completely different than me, and we kind of could, I guess, relate on what annoyed us the most about what other people say. And, um, yeah, that was cool. Um, the leader of the whole thing, the, like the mediator, I guess, uh, she was the most outspoken. She, um, Yeah, she was, like, she was Jewish, and she, like, had a bunch of stuff, like, she, like, was upset about how, like, everybody in the South is, like, Christian, and how everybody assumes that she's Christian because she lives in the South, and it was cool to, like, see that side of people. Uh, one more minute, what can I possibly say for one more minute? there were two leaders there's another one um she didn't really speak as much i kind of agreed with her a little bit more because she kind of um i don't know she was a little bit more like me she like like to stay quiet but when like she needed to talk she talked the other girl just seemed like pissed off about everything like for example the, <laughs> the one like the first leader she thought it was a microaggression that there's like a walk zone and not like she said it should be called a um uh, I forget it was some long name that just didn't make any sense
sense because the walk zone is offensive to people in wheelchairs, apparently. Thought that was kind of funny. All right, my five minutes are up. Yay, bye.